Um, hey guys. Today, as you can see, we'll be reviewing the Cotto Bethlegon Protein Gondola 8 Core Set. And, as you can see, one second. Sorry, guys, I'm back. I forgot to grab a toothpick. And let's get on with the review. And this review might be rather rushed a little. Because I'm not really feeling that good. So let's just get started. Okay, so you can see they have four of the gondolas showing on this side. And then you can only see like the full body part of the gondola is the bottom one. And then the rest, are, like this one's covered about, I don't know, about a third or something. I don't know, something like that. And then this one, you can't see the green. This one, you can't see the green. That one, you can't see the green. You can't see the green in any of them bottom. And then you can't even see these. That's on the side. Then you can see the Cotto Loco. The Loco. I don't know why I said Loco. And then the In Scale logo. In scale logo at the bottom. As you can see on the back of the box, they have the Cotto Uni Track suggestions. They have the M1 starter set, the Master One, and then the Master One, which is basically the M1 plus the V1 track set, which is the oval with extra track and as passing siding. Then they ha they show the M1 and then the M2. And I can't really tell what that shows. But I think it's something with the M1 or M2. And then up here it shows you how to take the top, the cover off of the gondola. And you do the same thing to put it back on. And it shows the radius. And then, so it shows you how to couple. You pick one up and you put it down on the track, back on the tracks. Right by it, because as you'll see in a minute, it's dummy couplers, which is a good thing. It prevents uncoup unwanted uncouplings, and these are used as a unit train. Whenever they're loaded, they're a unit train. They don't be they're not switched in yards like most rail cars. These stay together throughout the whole journey. And then same thing to uncouple them. You just pick one up. Which is pretty much like the Cotto, all the Cotto stuff to pick it, to uncouple. So let's get on with this, guys. Okay, so first I have to take the cars out of the package. All you do is put, they, they don't have a tab like the starter sets or like the one I reviewed last week, the four part hopper review. And this is different. You open the, you can open this part up. Then you slide this foam part out, and you can see the Cotto sticker right there. <laughs> see the Cotto sticker right there, and then you can see the eight cars, all different numbers, and all the same paint scheme. And then they already have the brake, the hand brakes already on, unlike the hoppers, the two big hoppers, but. One of them, one of them, I found that one of these that I got, I think it might have been this one, or, well, it might have been in this area, and this area, this area, they had one without a handbrake, because the handbrake had just fallen off, so I was able to put that back on easily, then, so let me get this out of the way, so to take the cars out, it's the same way. You make sure to hold packaging too, and you put your fingers like this. And hold on, don't want to come out. And then stubborn little thing. There we go. We got one out. What number is this? This is the three five oh three no three three oh three one or something. It's an as all of these are SBTX protein, Bethlehem protein gondolas. And they in the box, they already come with the top on. 
and I th and you see how on this side they have the handbrake on the same side as this. I don't know if the if y'all could see. And to take this off the top, all you do is hold the car like this. Put your hands on both sides, your fingers on both sides of the top, and then take it off like that. And then first we'll look at this. This the top has something special on it. I don't know if the camera would be able to pick it up, but on this side, on this side, I don't know if you can see it. But it, you see how they show a handbrake looking thing? Well, and then the arrow, that shows that that's where you could put it where the handbrake is like this. So it goes on white. Right. And then, so let's look at the inside detail, the interior detail. As you can see, they have these two pieces. I don't, these two can like separators but they have holes just to help even out the grain or something and then these it's hard to for far away the, this right here I'm far away I don't know if the camera could I don't know if you could see it but it has a slope to it they have slopes to it and that's where they have like this I don't know what this is for and then you can see they have like two things right here that go down and that's because on the bottom they have this right here these and then the wheels are metal wheels and then if you look closely I don't know if the camera would pick it up let me try to see I don't even know which side it's on let me look Yeah, look right here on the wheel, right here, they connecting the axle to the wheel only on this side. They actually have, I don't know if the camera could see it, but they have like a black rubber or plastic thing to thrill it, to stop like extreme metal pickup or electric pickup. And then, how? And then, as I said, you see the cotton knuckle couplers? These are dummy couplers, if you saw videos before. All the Baflagon gondolas, or like even the Cole Porter ones, are like this. They have, because like I said before, they run in unit trains. And it runs smoothly. It, like you, whenever you push it, it moves smoothly. Like, hold on, I hit the box. Look, it moves smoothly. And then to put the top back on, you just look where the handbrake where the handbrake indicator is, and where the handbrake is, and you just stick it on like that. And you can see the grooves. Hold on, I need to review the top too. I forgot to do that. You can see they have grooves in it, like right here and right here. That's how these parts could fit in it. And there's not really much interior detail. Because like inside of this, because there doesn't really need to be. And then this, if you could see from far away, you can't see it, but they have like little rectangles for it. Like you could kind of see the rectangles. I hope the camera could pick it up. And so to put it on, like I said, you find the handbrake indicator on here. And then you find the handbrake, and then you just pop it on like that. And it's smooth in and out. For this, look. The car barely even lifts up off the ground when I pick it up. And that was because my finger were kind of touching, slightly touching the core. So, this is a video. I might have a link in the. This was my. I just got this for Christmas and I decided to do a review on it. And in the in the description they in the description they'll have I'm probably gonna put the rollability in the description. Which I just saw like on the tracks. It runs better than my 
Mikado, 8-pack, two-bay hoppers, it moves smoother, and so, I'll see y'all next week, guys, so, bye, guys.